Hello viewers, welcome to LearningX. Today we are going to show you the second part of our sales dashboard using keyboard table. If you haven't seen the first part yet, please check that before watching this video to fully enjoy this. You can find the link in the description box. I have also given the download link of the dashboard. You can also find it in the description box. Download that so that you can make some practice by doing the same dashboard. In last video, we have completed our dashboard page 1. In this video, we will complete our dashboard page 2 and page 3. So let's start. Here, first of all, we will make a copy of this dashboard. We will create a copy, move to end. We will have a copy and we will give it already it has a name, page 2. I will remove all the charts from here. I will just keep one. I will change the shape size. and I will make three copy of it then I will give the title total revenue total participant total training type I'll copy this and I'll drag this for the trend line chart I'll copy the title and I'll give a name revenue trend line now I'll create a worksheet called page 2 and I'll copy a pivot table and I'll paste it in our page 2 put analyze field list and we'll give just total revenue rows and we'll get our values I'll link it now I'll link it with total revenue It's done. I will align it. Now I will go to page 2 and I will copy this pivot table. I will paste it here. Now I will remove total revenue and I will give total participants. That's it. Now I will link it. Now I will link it with this cell. We have to double click it as it's grouped if it's not grouped you can just make a single click okay yeah, i've selected this cell and it's done now total training type here yeah, i'll copy this and i'll paste it i'll remove these participants i'll be training type in rows or count of training in values and I'll sort it with largest to smallest. I'll link it. And it's done. Now I'll go to dashboard page 2 and I'll link it with that specific cell direct. I'll align it. And format this cell. I want to show it in million. For that, I'll go to custom. 0 0.00 2 comma for million and in bracket and I'll type million it's done and to show participants in thousand I'll go to custom 0 0.00 1 comma and I'll type thousand it's done now I'll format this with Arial Black, I'll bold it, I'll give a shadow effect. Now our last chart for this dashboard page 2 is revenue trend line. I'll copy this pivot table and I'll paste it here. I'll give years and training date in rows, total revenue in values and in filter i'll give training name i'll go to insert and i'll select this area chart now i'll copy the chart and i'll paste it in dashboard i'll remove all the unnecessary parts grid lines titles and i'll give no fill and no outline i'll give outline to the data 
and for shape effect I will give a shadow effect I will change the color to black for all the axis now I will change the fill color of the shape I will go to fill and I will give a gradient fill I will give orange and reddish color it's done now I will make a copy of this dashboard create a copy move to end and this is my dashboard page 3 I will remove everything even the slicer I will resize these three shapes I will create a page called page 3 now I want to show total revenue for that I'll copy this and I'll paste this pivot table here I'll just give total revenue and I'll give training location in filter that's it I'll link it I'll show it in million so I'll type million 0, 0.00 double comma and I'll type million now I'll link it with my dashboard page 3 Yes, I've linked it. Now I want to show total participant. For that, I'll copy this and I will remove total revenue and I will just replace it with total participants. So it's done. Now I will link this as like the before. I want to show it in thousand so that I will write 0 0.00 1 comma per thousand and I'll type thousand. That's it. I'll go to dashboard page 3, I'll link this and it's done. Again, I'll copy the pivot table and I'll paste it. This time I want to show top training type. I'll give training location in the filter, training type in rows and count of training in values. I'll link it as like the previous. I'll link it here with this cell. It's done. I also want to show number of session on the top training. For that, I'll bring a text box. I'll format it with no fill and no outline. And I'll link it with page 3 and, and this value. It's done. Now I'll format this. In page 2, uh, we have the same infographics with different conditions so that we'll give the same text box. and we'll just change the linking we'll link this with page 2 and trading type direct and this value i'll format it now we'll go to page dashboard page 3 and this time we are going to make a map chart so that i'll copy this pivot table and i'll paste it here i'll give ear in the filter location in the rows and revenue in the values so you have got country wise total revenue I'll link this first country and I'll drag it and then I'll drag it down by double click I'll remove grand total now I'll just select this I'll click on insert maps and we have got our map chart. I'll copy this and I'll paste it in my dashboard page. Dashboard page 3. 
Now I'll remove all the NSC part. I'll give no field, no outline. I'll go to format data series. And in map level, I'll, I'll give show all. In color, in series color, I'll give three color. First one will be red. Second one will be orange. And I'll give third one as a green. So it's look beautiful. Now, I'll drag it and I'll resize it. Format legend. I'll give it to right. I'll copy a title now. And I'll give it to here. I'll change the name Revenue. It's done. Now I'll bring slicer I'll go to page 3 I'll click insert I'll click slicer and this time I'll give training training type and years I'll copy these two slicer I'll paste it here I'll change the theme and I'll reposition it I'll give three columns I'll increase the height of the slicer here I will give two columns. In slicer setting, I will uncheck the display headers. I will do the same. I will increase the height of the slicer. I will do the same for both slicer. In report connection, it is already connected. So do, we don't have to do anything for here and for this training type we'll just click on page 3 now it's dynamic now we have one last thing to do and then our dashboard will be complete that is we have to connect all the pages together with this little button three buttons now I'll change the color of the buttons with respective pages now I'll link with one another I'll link map with map I'll link 10 lines with 10 lines and all of them will be interconnected then it will look like that all the things is going on in single page So that's all our dashboard is done I hope you have enjoyed the video